In the yarn content, the second cooking recipe take name of Kaliburu beer. Before you'll be able to obtain it, you have to complete the mine storyline of the continent. Next step is to visit the Black Anvil mine. To be precise, start from its central part, where the temporary sheltered report can be found. Slightly to the left side, you will notice in the map a quest called the Temperature of Beer. Reach this location and speak with the Silver Bjorn in order to take the quest. Now open your map and in the area to the right you will notice two locations you have to reach. In both locations you have to stay inside a highlighted area on fire until the loading bar will be empty. Once you do so in both locations you will be sent in the areas lighted to the top right connected with the blue arrows. Here you will be able to speak with the NPC called Miwar in order to complete the quest. For the next step go back to the central triport called the Temporary Shelter. In the first passage above the triport location you will notice another quest called The Work Goes On. Getting there will allow you to take the quest from the miner's Kmore. In order to complete it, proceed further and enter inside the smaller circular quest area, where you will find some molten rocks highlighted with a star above it. For one of the objectives you have to interact with the three of them, while for the other objective you have to defeat seven enemies in this area. Once done, you have to use the ongoing quest button in order to complete it. Now, if you will open your map, in the bottom left side of the map, inside the black anvil path, you will notice a new quest chain. By getting there, you will be able to speak with the Kahar and take the first quest of the chain called In Search of Legendary Beer. For its objective, you have to check the central part of the area to the bottom right where you will find a group of enemies to defeat guarding a pile of barrels. After you clear the area, interact with the barrels in order to complete the quest objective. Next, use the bottom right passage going toward the Dirty Valley workshop and reach the dead end. Here you will find Kahar, thanks to which you will be able to complete the quest. Now open your map and reach again the temporary sheltered report in the middle. From where then use the bottom passage and after using the blue arrows reach the small area in the Jowlet Blossom Cave. Here you will find again Kahar that will give you the second quest of the chain. For this one use again the blue arrows in order to reach the previous area. Inside it you have to check the central upper cavity. Here you will find a chest you have to interact with. Immediately after you have to reach the central part of the area near the temporary sheltered report where by speaking with Kahir you will be able to complete the quest. Also, by speaking with him again you will be able to take the last quest of the chain. For this one, go slightly to the bottom right and speak with the Poshar in order to update the objective. Then you have to interact with one of the boots highlighted with the star above it in front of the NPC. Immediately after go to the top left and speak with Kahir in order to complete the quest. The main reward of this quest chain is uh, an uncommon item called the Craft Beer that is one of the ingredients of the color beer you came for. For the next ingredient, in the Una Tasks tab you have to open the reputation status and browse to the page 8. You need to max out the fifth reputation called the Kaboom. To do so, use the lens and accept the quest called the Crash Boom Bang. Once you have it, visit the Black Anvil Mine area. Start from its central side near the temporary shelter report. From where then going up you have to reach the Great Javelry Storage location. In the corners of this area will spawn 4 enemies you need to defeat. But once you did so go back to the temporary shelter report in the central part of the map. From where going slightly to the top left you will be able to speak with the Bones and Bior in order to complete the daily quest. You can complete this quest only one time each day. Considering it will take 15 quests in order to max out the reputation, you will need 2 weeks in order to achieve this objective. But once you did so, after claiming the last reward, you will obtain an epic item called Old Boots you need. After you obtain both of them, you have to go to the Great Castle area. To be precise, you have to reach the Urka Market report in the bottom left side of the map. From where then, accessing the building to the top left, you will be able to find and speak with the Cook NPC. She will be able to complete several cooking recipes, but the one related to this video is the second. Thanks to which, by paying 3900 silver, you will be able to convert the two items you obtained previously into a Kalkur beer. 
Now that you have it, it's enough to only to open your inventory and use it in order to complete the adventure storm objective you came for. An important note, by using this beer you will obtain a buff that will last for 9 minutes. This buff is needed to enter inside several secret locations spread out around the continent, uh, inside which you will find the Mokoko seeds. If the buff ended but you still need it, don't worry, because after you used the cooking recipe you obtained another rare item called Empty the Cook Razan. In fact, by speaking with the cook NPC, you can enter inside the refill adventure storm liquor, and thanks to the second option, you can convert it back into the cooking recipe by paying only 1000 silver. 